So, welcome to this new lecture on uh, sol of this course solar photovoltaics principles technologies and materials. So, today we will learn about uh, p n junction light. So, before we do that let us just recap the previous lecture. So, in the previous lecture uh, in the last class we learnt about analysis of of uh, I V characteristics. for a p n junction in dark and what we did was basically we solved the solved the uh, minority carrier equations right. Essentially by considering depletion approximation low level injection and we considered only drift uh, sorry diffusion and recombination in bulk ok. That is on P and N side alright and what we did was we first derived the expressions for delta p n and delta n p. So, delta p n would be uh, the minority carrier that is hole on n side and then delta n p would be minority carrier that is electron on p side. So, we got the expressions for these uh, from just the junction potential uh, analysis. So, junction potential will give you delta p n and delta n p plug in these values in the form of. So, these values so delta p n and delta n p that you obtain are function of v a right because they are calculated in terms of junction potential. And then you plug in these values substitute these in the minority carrier equations which are second order differential equations. When you put them in second order differential equation and do the substitutions apply appropriate boundary conditions that uh, you know what happens at the boundary of depletion region and what happens at the boundary uh, far deep inside the semiconductor. So, when you apply these boundary conditions then you get the expressions for uh, uh, this current and uh, basically you get the expression for first the, the delta p n and delta n p and then you put that into the drift diffusion current expression. So, you calculate what is j n and j p diffusion and then you sum them together to calculate the total current in the uh, semiconductor uh, device. So, what we got was something like this i is equal to i naught exponential of q v a by k t minus 1 all right and i naught is this reverse saturation current. Uh, so, if you if you plot this i v characteristics the curve is uh, curve is something like this. So, what we have here is this is minus i naught which is in the reverse bias. So, this is v this is i and this is the forward current which is very large exponential function this is reverse bias ok. So, this analysis we did in the last class and if you go through the lectures of last class again and again it will become more clear uh, as you solve the diffusion equation uh, by second order equation yourself. It is a simple second order differential equation which is very easy to solve. Now, what we will do today is we will take uh, we will we will analyze the uh, p n junction characteristics of a device in dark in, in light. So, for this I would first recommend you to uh, these uh, books and the reference books for this section first can be considered is this uh, handbook of photovoltaic science and technology science and engineering by uh, A. Luke and S. Hegedus Wiley publications. It is a very good book again it has analysis for pro, uh, characteristics and light and then physics of solar cells by Jenny Nelson Imperial College Press again a good book. So, most of the uh, material that I am going to teach is going to taken from is, is taken from these two books uh, in the context of physics of solar cells in particular this physics of solar cells by Jenny Nelson ok. So, now uh, let us look at the so what we are going to do is that we are going to make our work for a typical p n junction device ok. So, basically what is the objective? The objective is to determine current as a function of voltage ok and so the steps that we are going to follow are basic steps are first we solve 
for properties in the depletion region. Then we solve for uh, properties in in quasi neutral regions which is the bulk region okay because now they don't remain quasi they don't remain neutral they become quasi neutral because you have flooded this with light okay and third is uh, find the total total current all right so this is how we go about it so let's first so the, when we do semiconductor ana, semiconductor analysis there are three conditions that you have to follow first condition is that you have thermal equilibrium so that's what we did for pn junction that is dark with no bias that is the first condition that we followed right and then we have we can have so this is the basic condition that is present when you have no light and no bias then you can have another condition which is steady state condition in which you have a constant voltage or light intensity which is applied to the device okay and then we have third one is transient that is device performance or device characteristics are a function of time okay or you can say parameters they change with time generally solar cell operate in these two regimes okay so generally solar cell obtain uh, operate either in steady state conditions or in transient conditions for the sake of analysis we consider solar cell as as steady state device for the sake of for analysis it makes it a little simpler because if there is a time dependence then it becomes even more complex for the sake of simplicity we keep the keep the solar cell device as a as a steady state device that means we consider only under a constant illumination or a constant voltage there is no change in uh, these parameters as a function of time so next we we make what we call as depletion approximation Now this you are familiar with already that we have made in uh, pn junction in dark also so basically we have a pn junction like this this is the device okay somewhere here we have a junction uh, on this side we have p side on this side we have n side this is the boundary of depletion region so you can say this is minus wp this is plus wn and so this is basically you can say p type region 1 uh, which is called as quasi neutral region which is what we called as neutral regions earlier and it has zero electric field that is no electric field which means the bands remain flat okay this is n side this is region 3 uh, which is again uh, you can say quasi neutral region with no electric field okay and then we have what we call as uh, so you can say um, let me use a different color here so if let's say this was red this p side okay then this boundary is the depletion region boundary on the p side okay and if uh, i take the
as the original color then this is what is your so this total is we can say is the depletion region which is basically demarked as region 2 okay which is with electric field so electric field is is not equal to 0 okay so this is what we have here so this is at x is equal to 0 this is at x is equal to minus wp this is at x is equal to wn and you can either change the origin from 0 prime 0 double prime or you can keep the same origin just that you have to change the limits so what is the general procedure for solving so let's write the general procedure So, general procedure is that we divide the device into three regions, region 1, region 2 and region 3. Okay. So, this is we said it is P side, this is N side and this is depletion region or it is also called as SCR that is a space charge region. Okay space charge region and these are called as QNR quasi neutral region all right so you have QNR followed by SCR followed by a QNR and then we solve for electrostatic properties in the uh, in region 2. Okay. So, generally the solution will depend upon the doping profile, but we assume that there is a, a constant doping and the junction is an abrupt junction. Okay. So, we assume that it is a constant doping throughout the semiconductor and abrupt junction. All right. Third uh, is solution for solve solve for carrier concentration and uh, current in qnr that is the quasi neutral region that is region 1 and 3 under state under steady state condition so we assume that this is under steady state so and what you do in this is first you get a general solution and then you find a uh, particular solution depending upon the conditions at the edges and boundaries of the so determined by by boundary conditions okay and then we find the relationship between uh, between currents on two sides of scr that is the depletion region okay so basically it depends upon how much the generation happens so on and so forth so let's first write the uh, expression for carrier densities in the neutral region so we consider first uh, let's say assume that the junction is illuminated by a flux density let us say I s e okay, of photons of energy e. All right. So, when you apply bias now apply bias let us say bias is V a V a. So, when you apply bias you will have electron current you will have a hole current 
and so electron current will be J n E will depend upon. So, when you apply with the so your the current will be so we know that absorption will occur only for uh, radiation energies higher than the band gap energy. So, any current that you produce photo current as a result of illumination will correspond to only those energies which are higher than the band gap. So, ba so you integrate from band gap to infinity then we take this. So, for each energy you will have a current and then you integrate right. So, similarly J P E is e g infinity small j n j p e x d e. So, in, in that sense actually this is uh, you can say total j n and total j p okay, for all the energies that are incident on the uh, because you have integrated them over the interval e g to infinity. And then we consider flat band conditions um, in the Q n R regions all right that is electric field is equal to 0 and we consider linear recombination and what does that mean that R n is equal to delta n divided by tau n and r p is equal to delta p divided by tau p right. And finally, we say that minority current is mainly due to is diffusion controlled and which is what is uh, so it is it's essentially with diffusion control current okay, which is for minority carriers. So, now let us anyway. So, um, so we have a general solution for J v characteristics for a p n junction in light. So, the steady state continuity equations for minority carriers on both sides are for electrons it is del 2 n p by del x 2 minus of n p minus n p naught divided by ln square which is the diffusion length right because and remember we used to have d on this side which we have brought it here because if you recall what is this equation this is uh, basically you can say uh, del of j so in this case we are taking j n diff right uh, minus of r uh, whatever the which is delta n divided by tau n and now we have taken the generation term which is small g in this case let us say small g this is the continuity equation. This was d del 2 n p divided by del x 2. So, we have brought d here. So, as a result it becomes so if you remove d from here it becomes d n this is divided by d n and l n square is equal to tau n d n right diffusion length is equal to square root of tau n d n. So, for electrons we have del 2 n p by del x 2 minus of this is delta n which is n p minus n p naught divided by l n square plus g generation rate generation term as a function of energy and distance divided by d n that is equal to 0. Similarly, for holes you get this expression. So, for both holes and electrons we get two minority carrier equations. And we know from basic physics that generation is equal to 1 minus r which is the whatever is left mind after reflection then absorption term multiplied by the, the photon energy multiplied by the exponential factor which goes as a function of distance in the device right. So, depending upon how you how deep you go you will have so absorption. So, at x is equal to 0 this will be the absorption and if you go uh, at this little deeper into device the absorption will reduce as a function of this uh, equation. So, this is what the situation is you have now a device edges of the device are located at minus x p and x n 
where the edges of depletion region in the PN and side are located at minus WPN plus uh, sorry this should be plus WN. Okay. So, now we go to next. So, we in, in the next first we do for SCR analysis. So, we say that electric field the intrinsic uh, energy level is flat in neutral region, but it varies within uh, SCR. And the Fermi levels on P and N side E F N and E F P are split, but constant throughout the SCR. So, the situation is like this. So, uh, now we draw the band diagram of a P n junction uh, semiconductor. So, let us say this is the band diagram right and within this. Uh, so, so, you can say this is the P region, this is the N region and between this we have SCR. So, essentially this is let us say the E i the intrinsic Fermi level, intrinsic Fermi level will always remain at the mid of the uh, semiconductor. The since the since the electron uh, since the n side is now uh, illuminated with light which means n side is flooded with electron or electron concentration in n side becomes huge as a result the quasi Fermi level for so this this Fermi level on n side. So, E f n shifts up whereas, the E f p on the other side since this is the p side the E f p on this side is lower right because this is p side region. So, it is going to be p rich the Fermi level for p is going to be lower on this side whereas, Fermi level for whole electrons is going to be. Now, in equilibrium both these Fermi levels match right, but when the equilibrium situation is not there when you expose the semiconductor to a lot of light which means you create conditions which are not neutral conditions as a result you flood the semiconductor with excess carriers on both sides. So, n side becomes extremely rich in electrons because you have suddenly uh, excited a lot of electrons from the valence to conduction band similarly the similarly the p side becomes uh, uh, flooded with carriers. So, as a result the Fermi levels move away the electron Fermi level that is on the n side Fermi level moves up it becomes more and more uh, electron rich on the other hand the p side becomes more and more hole rich. So, that uh, the Fermi level moves down and this is what we saw earlier because remember E f n was equal to E i plus k t by q n d divided by sorry n d divided by n i. So, as n d goes up now in this case n d is not increasing, but n is increasing. So, this was basically you can say small n n right. This increases as you expose with light. So, when this increases this also goes up. Similarly, in the other side is E f p which is E i minus this term into n p p. So, this p p will increase as a result this will go down. So, this will go down this will go up with respect to the equilibrium positions. So, as a result of illumination these two change. So, you can say that n is equal to n i into exponential of E f n minus E i divide. Now, this is the electron concentration term from semiconductor physics. Similarly, p is given as n i exponential of E i minus E f um, p divided by k t and this these two increase as this gap increases. So, the more this Fermi level shifts towards the conduction band which means n increases the more the Fermi level shifts towards the valence band p increases after illumination. So, you can say that J, J S C R in this case space charge region is equal to J n from minus W p to W n plus J p from minus W p to W n right. So, we are first worrying. So, this is equal to q minus w p to w n uh, r minus g d x. So, essentially how, what is the recombination, what is the generation depending upon that your net current from the space charge region will be produced. So, this is unlike dark situation because dark situation was there is no generation, there is no recombination, but now we are saying that we are throwing the so, when you have you have a semiconductor device like this and you have flooded this with 
light. So, this is coming. So, whether it is this region or that region or this region everywhere you will have carrier generation all across the semiconductor device you will have carrier generation which will lead to splitting of Fermi levels as a result you will have a net current coming also from the SCR region. So, the total current in this case turns out to be if you take for a particular energy small j e is equal to j n minus w p e plus j p minus w p e and and this is j n at minus w p e j j p at w n e plus whatever is generated from the SCR region. So, essentially we are saying this, this j p in this case is nothing but giving rise to whatever was j p at w n e at w n plus whatever is generated from the SCR region. Okay. Because remember the total current throughout the device has to remain. So, we are saying that uh, in this case. So, if you remember we said that this is the device, this is the minus w p, this is plus w n. So, we are saying that the total current at this, so if, if this is j total, okay, we are saying that let us say you have some uh, electron current at minus w p, which is the minority carrier, some, elect, some whole current at plus w n, uh, uh, sorry at this at if you want to no, locate at this particular point, whatever the whole current is there and whatever the electron current is there, total will make the total current. This is fine in case of normal dark condition you can say because this condition these two currents remain constant within the. So, if this is J n, if this is J p they remain constant within the depletion region. However, after illumination it does not remain. So, after illumination they do not remain the same. So, what we do is that instead we are saying whatever is j p at whatever is uh, whatever is j n at this point let us say j n. So, this is j n at minus w p plus whatever current was here okay, and then whatever is generated as a result of space charge it could be negative it could be positive depending upon more recombination or more generation. But this current is not same as this current because earlier we assumed whatever goes in goes out, but now that is not the case because we have recombination generation taking place. So, for minor, so, so for current to be calculated at this particular point, we take the electron current. So, electrons are coming from this side to that side plus whole current at this side and what so holes have gone from here to here, right. So, this whole current will change as it goes from here to here. Similarly this, similarly, this electron current as it comes from as the see you, you flood this side with excess holes lot of holes are there after illumination and these holes will jump to this side. Similarly, you have lot of electrons on this side and you will create a min massive uh, diffusion uh, flux on this side. So, as a result uh, now and, and since this region is also leading to carrier generation to this side there will be change within the depletion region. So, what we are saying now is that this j p at minus w p is equivalent to j p at this point j p at this point plus whatever might have come through the SCR because so we have to separate because we are sure about the currents at this point and this point, but we do not know what is the current in the SCR region. So, that is why we want to do it separately. Okay. So, we take the first component that is j n at minus w p and then we take j p at w n. So, this is the minority current on either side of the junction and this is what is produced from the space charge region. If you remember that is what we wrote earlier as well in case of dark this j e was equal to j n minus w p plus j p w n. Now, we have added one more term which is j S C R E, right? This was there earlier also in the dark because these two profiles were flat. So whether you take at this point, whether you take at this point, both were similar, right? So so this is J total. If you just forget about the energy part here, so at a given energy, right? So at a given energy, 
uh, in dark this was the expression in uh, under light since you generate more since you generate an extra current from the space charge region because of generation recombination you add an extra current at a given position whether on this side or on that side okay so so basically you can say that so j total would be uh, whereas this this all will fit into j total small j e d e so here you are taking the energy as a function of one energy if you want to integrate them for all all the if you want to get the total current you have to integrate the whole thing from e g to infinity for all the energies so now uh, we need to solve these equations uh, the differential equations which i showed you earlier the minority carrier equations solution of those equations required to have boundary conditions so uh, we will take that, that that up in the next lecture okay so what we have done in this class is we have just looked at some basic conditions for analysis of light current in a pn junction device and we have divided the semiconductor device in three regions region 1 and region 3 are quasi neutral regions on pnn side and space charge region is the uh, is the is the junction region around the junction uh, where you do now that approximations remain the same however the conditions change because of uh, flooding of uh, because of generation recombination happening because of exposure to light so we'll do further analysis in the next lecture